Hi, it's Jen with a quick Tech Tips 411 video, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Zoom to live stream a meeting or a school event to your YouTube channel or your Facebook page so that you can have parents and community members and students tune in to your live event so you can host that meeting via Zoom and broadcast it to your Facebook channel or your YouTube channel. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to log into the APS dashboard for Zoom to make sure that you have the setting turned on in order to do this inside of Zoom. So you're going to go to that Atlanta Public Schools-US.Zoom.US website and we're going to sign into our account and make sure the settings are correct. Over on the left hand side you're going to select settings, click on meeting advanced over here on the left. It will take us down here to where we have some more options. We're going to scroll down. We are looking for the setting that says allow streaming meetings and you want to turn that on. When you turn that on you can select your options. You can select Facebook, Workplace by Facebook, or YouTube. So we can go live to those platforms. So it's a great way for you to be able to have community engagement for your events that you're hosting. So again, you're going to turn on allow streaming meetings. I've already got it turned on and you're going to select Facebook, Workplace, and YouTube. In addition to that, you can do a custom live streaming service. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to focus on Facebook today and YouTube. So we're going to turn that on and you need to make sure that you click on this regenerate. And when you do that, it's going to update your settings. So all of your meetings will recognize that setting. So once you've done that, you're good here. Now let's dive in to the actual meeting. Here I've scheduled with whoever I need to have in the meeting with me for that session. So this is a great way for you to have, I've already had several principals host parent information sessions. I've got another uh, school that's having their Title I meeting coming up, a PTA meeting. It's a great way for your parents to connect. And what's great is if you're using those platforms, you can use the chat features available in those platforms so they can participate in the meeting. So what you're gonna wanna do here is I'm gonna select a new meeting. If you've already got a scheduled meeting, you would select that. So I'm going to say new meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Zoom. When I start my meeting, I'm going to make sure I unmute myself. I'm going to go ahead and start my video. And here I am. I'm in my Zoom and you can connect anyone that you want to be in this Zoom right here. So what you're going to want to do, once you have everybody in the Zoom that needs to be in the Zoom, you're going to go down here to the more tab. So we're going to go to more. I went ahead and selected live on Facebook, live on Workplace, and live on YouTube. So I've got three platforms I can choose from. I'm going to pick the one I want to go to. So let's go to YouTube first. So if I select on live on YouTube, I'm going to click on it. Now this is really important. It's going to make you log in to the YouTube channel that you have access to. So that means you have to be the owner of the YouTube channel or you need to have the owner of the YouTube channel be the person that starts the meeting and logs in because it's going to be tied to your meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and select my YouTube channel here. Now, the other important thing is as soon as I hit this go live, whatever I'm talking about goes live. So this is very important. Right now it says it's in Jennifer Hall's personal meeting room. I can rename it for whatever the event that is going on. It's the PTA live event. It's the parent information center. It's the whatever the event is, meet the teacher kind of thing, whatever you're doing, because it can be done by teams or grade levels or content areas. So you're going to rename this right here. So I'm going to just call this PTA meeting. So you could have invited in the PTA president or whoever else needs to be in involved in it. And then everybody else is just tuning in live. Now, the next step is you're going to pick the privacy. And if I choose privacy, I've got public. If I choose public, that means anyone that knows about that YouTube channel can go there. You're going to want to post the link to your YouTube channel on your website or blast it out via social media so people know to tune in for your event. So if I go public, it's going to be available. If I choose to go unlisted, that means it's more of a private conversation and you don't want everybody to see it. You only want to share it with certain people that can tune in. In, you would make it an unlisted event and then you would share out that link for those individuals that need to tune in. If I chose private, that means only like the YouTube owner can check it out. So you're going to have it be public and you're going to hit go live. That means you're going to see inside of Zoom, it's going to go live. So for right now, I'm going to my YouTube channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select private just so that we're not going out on the web for this tutorial since I am running through this video, but I am going to click go live and go back to Zoom so you can see what happens. So preparing to live stream, I'm going to let you know it does take, uh, there's about a 10 second delay. So it's not completely live, but right now it's setting it up and it's setting it up and it's redirecting me to YouTube and now I can see here's that YouTube link it's showing right now it's unavailable because it's set to private but if you had set it to public you'd be able to see it right here so let's hop back over to the zoom and see what's going on in the zoom so if I go back to the zoom as you can see up in the corner there it says 
we're live on YouTube. So you know you are live when you see that up there. So that's how we went straight from Zoom into YouTube. Super simple, easy way to do it. I could also, once I'm done, all I have to do is hit end or I could go up here, can stop the stream right here or I can copy that streaming link and share it out to someone if it's a public or unlisted link. And so if I wanna go ahead and hit stop live stream, I'm gonna do that right there. Just like that, I'm done. The other option is if I wanna go to Facebook. So I'm gonna click on more and I'm gonna choose to go live on Facebook. Same thing. You have to be the owner of the Facebook channel. So that means I'm going to say not on my timeline. I want to share on a page I manage and choose next. And when I want to choose to go there, it's going to do the same thing. It's preparing that live stream and I'm going to go live. I can go in here and see that I am. It's preparing to go live. So that pushes it out directly to your live stream. So that's how simple it is for you to stream live to your stations. So right here, before I go live, I can give a title to that video, the event that's going on. I can say something about it, be ready to go, and then hit that go live button right here. So I'm not gonna go live to the Facebook channel because it's not going to be private. So those are the two ways that you can share out. So, so as you can see, it's very easy for you to go live using Zoom to either your Facebook page or to your YouTube channel to connect with your community, your students, and your parents in a live Zoom event. So if you have any questions, drop them in the uh, comments. Let me know. If you found this video beneficial, please give it a thumbs up and a like and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you found that this was beneficial and you'd like to be informed about future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.